Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, it's Rhonda. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of the newest updates to Canva that you may or may not have seen already. Uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of videos on the new Affinity Studio from Canva. And I feel like I've neglected Canva a little bit. So I thought I would just do a real quick video showing off some of the newer features that I find really, really useful. Um, I'm gonna start here by slapping a text box on my canvas and showing you this first one. When I come up here now to select my font, at the very top, you're gonna to see starred fonts. That means we can now basically favorite fonts inside of Canva, whether they're ones we've uploaded ourselves or ones that are here inside Canva. We can star them so they'll always show up on the top and we always have our favorite fonts handy to use. So we can scroll through here. You know, I'm looking at the handwriting fonts and when I find one I'd like and I wanna use and I know I'm gonna to wanna to use it again and again, just click the three little dots next to it and you can star it right there. Then, like I said, they'll show up here at the top and you can see all the fonts that you've starred right here and they're handy for you to use whenever you want them. So I really like that new feature. Another one that has to do with text and I'm gonna make this bigger so we can see it better. Let's move that here. I want to change the color of my font. So I'm coming up here, I'm gonna click on text color. And we have our regular options, but now we also have gradient options that we can apply directly to our text. That is super cool. We weren't able to do that before. We had uh, plain colors, but now we have gradients and we can even use like the metallic look gradients as well. And we can also, let me get in here and choose one. We can edit the gradients. We can change how they appear on our text. We can adjust the colors so you can make your own custom gradients if you want to. Let's uh, make this one, let's go a, a purple and you could change this to a red. So you can, ch and you can add more colors to your gradient. If you want to have more than uh, two or three colors, you can adjust the positioning of the colors. So there's a lot you can do now with uh, your text and the colors you use for it. So those are two that I really love. You know, with the text, I just, I think that's fantastic. And even after using the gradients, we can still come over here and like apply an outline or shadows and it's not going to uh, do away with our gradient, which I really like. Now the other, couple other ones out here that are new that I like, if we go into elements and you click on shapes, you have all these basic shapes that we've always had, but now you can generate your own shape. Now this is still uh, being worked on basically. It's you know new technology that they're using. So it may not be perfect, but you can ask it to do, let's do a hand-drawn heart that's crooked and leans to the right. I don't know if I'll get it, we'll see. So hand-drawn heart that's crooked and I spelled crooked wrong. I hope it knows what I meant. And here we go. So we have a crooked hand-drawn heart that is leaning. So that's kind of cool. So you can make your own shapes. Um, Hand-drawn star. Put that in there and see what we get. 
And again, you know, this is something that's new and they're still working on it. So it may not always work perfect for you. Um, but there's a cute star. I like that one. And it didn't make the fourth one. But that's okay. You get the idea. You see what it does. So let me get rid of those. And now we're going to go back into Elements. And I'm just going to search for, I'm just going to go into graphics. Let's go into graphics. And let's look at some recently used ones. And let's select this raccoon. And we can go to edit. And we should be able to, there was a new effect in here somewhere. And I'm trying to figure out where it is. I can't remember exactly where it's at. There's a bunch of, where is it? Adjust, is it in here? Here we go, I'm sorry. I knew I had it earlier and I couldn't remember. Um, go into adjust and here under color, you can click invert and it will just invert the colors for you of whatever graphic you've chosen. So let's do that again. Let's find something else. Let's take these mushrooms here and edit, adjust, and just invert. And it changes the colors of them. So that's a pretty cool feature too. I'm not sure how much use uh, some of us will get out of that one, but I wanted to point it out that it is there and it is a pretty cool new feature that I like a lot. And of course, I know I showed you some of these others lately, the uh, style match where you can change anything into a different style. Um, we did this in another video, uh, but I figured since I was in here, I'd show this one again, just in case uh, you missed that video. But it takes a couple minutes to do, but it will take this like watercolor and turn it into a doodle, which is fantastic if you're making uh, those doodle designs that you can pretty much pick whatever uh, graphic you want out of here and convert it to the doodle style. So that's really nice. So that's just a few of the newer features. Um, there's a ton more and I will get into, I'll do more videos, short videos like this, just showing off a couple of them at a time. So, you know, we don't have like this two hour long video going through each and every one of them. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.